So I'm back to work after a bit of a break. Uh, took about a week off. Just drank loads of alcohol and ate loads of food. Um, and I'm kind of had to get back into the boat project. So today I'm going to try and do the bulkheads. So these are the midship bulkheads. You may remember we actually templated these uh, a couple of months ago um, before I realized that the floor needed to be done first. So I have all the templates um, ready to go. It's just a case of making it out of fresh plywood and painting that plywood and sealing it and getting it ready to fit. Um, so today I'm just taking that, that uh, template that we made and I'm fitting it down on a new piece of 18 mil ply and yeah, we're gonna cut it out and then cut it into uh, two pieces so that it can fit through the companionway. And then we'll probably use maybe a biscuit jointer or similar to join the pieces together again um, when they're in the boat. So yeah, we'll get into it. So you can see the template there is down on a fresh bit of ply. Um, remember we kind of hacked these just to make it fit, but I'm gonna cut a nice kind of clean curve out of that. Um, and then we're gonna make the bulkhead a little bit narrower as well. So that was kind of when it was in the boat, I kind of realized that it needs to have a bit more removed off it. And that's the piece at the back as well. And that's where the join will be. Um, so if we cut this nice and uh, do a nice clean job of it, it should be easy to join up again. Welcome to uh, drawing uh, stuff on random bits of timber with Arrow. Today I'll be drawing little pictures of uh, things here on this bit of timber in Reese's boat. He doesn't know what I'm doing. Uh, I told him that it would help, but that's a lot of shit. So I'm pretty happy with the way these bulkheads have turned out. Um, they're screwed in now, mostly. Um, so I've kind of I've glued these battens in at the top and um, that accept the bulkhead. And there's also that compression post behind the bulkhead, which will be bolted all the way down. So these should be very, very strong. Um, this is where I'm gonna base a lot of my interior off. So the galley will go on this side on cleats to the bulkhead. And then obviously there'll be a bunk slash uh, seating area here as well. So a lot of stuff will be built off these bulkheads. So I wanted to get them right. I used a laser um, line to get basically the line on the hull where the bulkhead's gonna go. And it's completely um, square to the bulkhead on the starboard side as well. So the fact that these are two squ nice square bulkheads and hopefully the aft um, bulkheads will be just as square as these. So that when I go to build the interior, I can build it, uh, bring it here and assemble it in on the, on the boat rather than trying to mess around inside here, uh, building an kind of interior. So the next steps really are to put the piece onto the bulkheads um, so and the same on the starboard side, there's not quite such a, a large gap, so it should be, should be easy enough to do these uh, two bulkheads. Um, once they're done then, I'm going to mark out and line up the aft bulkheads, so the ones that will close in the heads on the starboard side, and will close in what I'm kind of, I've been calling the aft cab, port side aft cabin, but I think I'm going to turn it into a workshop and it can double as a, as a cabin if it really needs to. Um, I think that a workshop on a boat, on a cruising boat, is, is a, isn't really a luxury, it's a, it's a necessity. Um, there's also, because I'm quite short, there's a lot of space in there for me to stand up in. Um, so that, that, that'll come to fruition over the next, hopefully the next month or so. So these are a pretty big step towards getting the insulation in. Um, I wanted to get these in before insulation so that they'd be foamed in. Um, that'll give them a lot of extra rigidity as well. And the cleats or the, the battens or the securing battens, whatever you want to call them, um, they're done in the saloon. Um, so I'm working my way aft now as well. So I'd say the battens are about 70% done. Um, just still need to do the cabin top and either side on the aft um, or in the, the kind of companionway area. So 
So I'm doing something very similar uh, with this bulkhead that I was doing with the floor. Um, remember we spiraled out the um, shape of the floor using a kind of a template. Whereas this time I'm using the bulkhead itself because I'm going to be adding the piece um, to the end here. So I'm just getting the shape of the piece that I need to add on. Then I'll take this bulkhead out um, and I'll lay it down on, a, on a, next to a, another piece. And then I'll cut out the shape, or I'll spot, sorry, I'll, I'll copy out the shape and then I'll cut it out. And I'm, gonna, I'm planning to use a um, biscuit joint to actually uh, put these pieces together. Now, the whole reason I cut these down to this width was so I could get them through the companion way. So I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to assemble this inside and then put it into place. Uh, worst case, I can just put the first piece in and then the other piece on top and then find a way of kind of clamping them together. I'm not massively worried um, if there's a little gap or if the gaps don't line up absolutely perfectly. Um, first time I've ever done it being the f one of the main reasons, but the other reason is I'll probably um, I'll be painting these bulkheads. So I'll use some filler in the gap and um, hopefully you won't be able to see the gap. If you can, I'll use, I'll use a trim piece, um, but I'm pretty confident that I should be able to get a nice closed gap and any filler will, will take care of the rest. Once this one is completely done, then I'll move on to the starboard side and get those done. Um, then we have to mark out and cut the aft bulkheads. So this fella is a jointing tool. So basically it cuts little slots um, in pieces of timber that line up to one another so that you can join them together without any kind of, um, without any overlap. So basically um, I want to join this piece onto the main bulkhead on the inside. So what I need to do is I need to make these little biscuit cuts all the way along and then use um, a little birch biscuit to, to hold them together when I glue them. I also need to make these cuts on the main bulkhead. So then when they come together, then you'll, you'll have a completely lined up piece of uh, two pieces of timber. Um, it's a little bit awkward inside the boat because there's very little space. Um, but what I'll do probably is I will cr try and screw these together with bits of um, with ply. Um, on either side so that it'll hold them while they glue. Um, I'm pretty sure that that'll do fine. These are the biscuits. So these, this is a size 20. They come in five, 10 and 20. Um, and basically that will sit in a slot like this. Um, and then it'll have to be on the same on the other side so that when you stick them together, they'll be completely in line. Um, so basically what I do is I make a mark here And then there's a little mark on the front of the biscuit jointer. This little uh, jig as well moves up. <clears throat> you can do them at different angles, but um, I want to set this to 90 and just best to make sure that it is actually 90 degrees with a little, um, with a little set square as well. So basically you line the, the mark up on the front of the biscuit jointer with the mark on the timber, and then you turn it on and you just push that, this guy in. So basically I'm just going to hold it down and then I'll push this button and push it in. So that's the principle of it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a few of these now and then we'll have a look at what it's like um, when we start putting them together. So then you end up with this little slot. Now, I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up, but basically the beach, little beach biscuit will sit in that guy like that and there'll be a, a, a duplicate on the other side. You can also see what I mean by basically just doing it on one side because I was quite far out in this one. Um, even though I thought I set it up right, it's still a little bit high. So if, as long as I basically don't change the setup on this and then do it on the exactly the same side on the main bulkhead, these will line up perfectly.
that's pretty much where that bulkhead is going to go. Um, I need to line it up a lot better than this, but this is just kind of giving you guys an idea. Um, basically, it will be in line with this, and then it'll follow that line all the way up. And then there'll be like a doorway entrance then for the um, for the aft cabin slash workshop. Um, yeah, and then that'll basically give me the space between here and that line for the galley. Um, the galley will probably come out and back, and then trying to want to make a U-shaped galley so that you don't get thrown out of it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where I'm going to put it. I hope. So that's all I have time for in this episode. Um, we've got quite a lot done. We've got the midship bulkheads done. Um, they need a little bit more epoxy. I kind of ran out halfway through the job. Um, so I'll get some more of that and I will finish those. The forward bulkheads also need an epoxy treatment. They're pretty much done as well. There's a small bit to add to the port side, so it's missing about this much. Same for the same reasons that we uh, needed to cut these bulkheads a bit slimmer as well to get through the companionway. But I'm um, pretty happy with how things went. Huge thanks to Leighton, Shane and Jeff as well for giving me a hand um, over the last couple of weeks. Shane came down and just blasted through cutting holes for the conduit because um, we're going to be running conduit in behind the insulation. Uh, Jeff came down and, and gave me a hand with these bulkheads. I couldn't have done it without him. And then Leighton came down as well and he's, he's done some great work in cutting the forward bulkhead shape. So I had a great team behind me this couple of weeks um, and we really powered on through. Next steps really are to get the aft bulkheads in. We've got the port side aft bulkhead um, cut out and actually is, is epoxied and is drying as we speak. Um, the starboard side bulkhead is kind of lined out on the hull and I want to um, cut that out of ply this week and then have it fitted hopefully by the, um, by the end of next week. And that will mean that those all the bulkheads then are in um, and it's kind of one of the major steps to getting the insulation done. And then after that's kind of after those bulkheads are in and I know where they are, at least then I can get my conduit finished, I can get my um, interior battens so everything that, that, that everything screws into is finished. And then there's a few hot jobs on deck, so I need to weld up the, um, I need to weld up the connecting frame for the, for, the hard, for the spray hood, and I need to um, put some wiring runs through the deck, especially for the mass wiring. As always, thanks for tuning in. It's time for me to hit the hay, as you can tell. Um, so I will see you in the next episode. Good night.